Hey everyone, I just wanted to come and show you how quick and easy it is to mix up a cake batter in our Power Chef. Um, the reason I love this is because the baby is down napping now and it's not super loud. I don't need to get out a hand mixer or a big tabletop mixer or anything and make super loud noises while she's sleeping. It's quiet. I don't need to be anywhere near a plug-in. I can just do it right here in front of you. So this is one of my favorite things. So the Power Chef not only comes with a blade for chopping up your fruits, veggies, meat, nuts, anything that you want, but it comes with a paddle attachment, which is great for making um, homemade dressings, um, things like mousse. Uh, whipped cream and mixing up your cake batter and liquids and stuff like that. So it's really, really great for that. Um, so that's what I'm going to do here today and show you really quickly how easy and how quiet it is. Um, and you can get things done when um, the littles are sleeping and not have to worry about the, the noise or anything. Great for traveling and stuff too. How perfect is this to take um, to the camper or the cabin or something with you because um, you don't need electricity for it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've already cracked three eggs into my bowl. So I'm just going to throw in my three eggs. I'm just following the recipe on the back of the box. That's it. Now the reason I'm doing my eggs first is because um, if you know with baking and stuff, it's always better to have your eggs mixed together first um, so that they're all combined. So Just a quick couple pulls. And we have our eggs all nice and combined and the other good thing about this is then we have our liquid on the bottom so when we put in our powdered cake mix it's not going to um, you know settle on the bottom and not stir up properly so you've already got that liquid on the bottom so we go liquid powder liquid right so I've just got my regular box cake mix and I've already cut the top off. So I just used my kitchen shears to cut the top off. And if you aren't uh, sure, the difference between uh, scissors and shears is that your shears come apart and how easy to clean and stuff and how awesome is that. I also actually really like it for when you're um, trying to like curl your ribbon and stuff. I can just take off the one blade and do it so I don't have the other one in my hand. Um, so I like that. And the kitchen shears are actually awesome for um, cutting like flower stems or cutting your herbs or anything like that. The kitchen shears are amazing for that. So um, we're just going to put our powdered mix in. And there we go. I'm just going to hold on to my paddle and just pour it all around. There we go. So we've got our liquid and we've got our cake mix and then we're going to add the rest of our wet ingredients. So what I'm going to add is a half a cup of oil. So I'm just going to pour that in here. So we've got one half cup of oil. And then I just realized that I forgot to take my milk out of the refrigerator. We've got our milk and we're going to put in a cup and a quarter of milk. So we've got our cup. Our measuring cups are amazing. I love them. So we're just going to pour in a cup and a quarter of milk. And that's it. So easy. So just follow the directions on the back of your box cake mix. So half a cup of oil, cup and a quarter of water or milk. I put milk in there and three eggs. So whatever your description is or whatever your in instructions are. So we're just going to lay it down and we're just going to pull it straight out. You don't want to pull up or you don't want to pull down because then you could wear out your cord. So just make sure that you're always pulling straight out. And it's so easy and so And just a few pulls, I don't even know maybe how many that was, five, but look how perfect it is. It is whipped to perfection. And I mean, I couldn't even do it that fast with a hand mixer. So look at that. No lumps, no nothing. Perfectly mixed batter in seconds. No electricity, no noise. Um, yeah. And everything all contained here in a container and you can just take your um, 
spatula and just make sure to scrape down the sides if you need to. Yeah, so there we have it. And it's ready to go right into my cake pans. Whoops, that's one for the blooper reel. So now I've got half my cake on the counter. <laughs> All right guys, thanks for watching again. Let's try not to tip this too much this time. And there you have it, perfectly mixed cake batter in seconds. No noise, no electricity. Thanks for joining me. Get yourself a Power Chef. Bye guys.